All right, so what are we planting here? The cabbages. The cabbages. Okay. So the package says spacing, uh, plant spacing every 18 inches. So I marked it on this board and I marked it out with my trowel. Put a line every 18 inches. Okay. So now I'm just going to come and plant in. Okay. So, so this one has been being watered, putting water in the tray. And now that's how they are being planted. Just it's pull it up. It's a little soggy right now, so it's bottom looks like it. So it's ready to go in the ground. I'm gonna face it the other way so it's facing the sun. Where are my gloves at? I didn't bring you my gloves. Yeah, what happened with it? So the the compost is very lightly pressed. Yeah. It's gonna press it in there. And then under here, there's a watering line kind of running there. So I just I'm staying just. True. The just watering off. line got in the center of this bed. So we're just slightly off of that. Off the of center, yeah. Which is fine. But they're gonna like it a lot better because their roots can spread out now. And then off to the next one. And not going so deep. Because don't need it. Make sure that's nice and then you can put your compost down on that. Huh? It's falling apart. Okay, so you're gonna plant the rest of them, right? Yep. Okay. So while you do that, this whole thing. I'm gonna go and start working on the adding the drip irrigation. irrigation to this one right here that we planted earlier. So we are teaming up here, and then I'm going to dig the other hole somewhere around right here to plant the other tree and also bring the lines out okay so the drip line to the tree is finally done so here's what I did I put the drip line and I put it on the top of the main water line that goes through the center of the bed um, I should have put that at the bottom so that I did not have to do this little loop here and then buried it through the dirt, go through the bottom of this frame, all the way out to the tree there. But anyways, uh, it is what it is. It's done, and I didn't want to uh, ruin that and put a cap on it. So, but on the next tree that I did, on that one that I planted, I did do it that way. So, as you can see there, it's clean. The drip line, it's at the bottom of the main water line, and it is hidden. It looks a lot cleaner, so... You know how it is when you do one and you find a better way to do it a second way, a second time, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to do the same thing on this bed and that one when we plant these two trees that are going to go here, which we're going to go get uh, sometime whenever we have a chance to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or the local nursery to uh, find some decent trees that we could plant. In the meantime, we'll just... Uh, uh, keep working on the yard and uh, keep you guys posted and we'll see you next time.